killing that bloke on the outside. Tell them that they're paid by a con. I can't express how casual they were acting when they told us, oh yeah, Darby Allen got run over by a car yesterday. It's Darby Allen getting run over a car sounds like a typical Thursday. He's got road rash on the right side of his back, and then he goes out and wrestles a match. The man's an animal. I've got a fat ass and a bad attitude. I said, wait, hold on a second. I couldn't have heard that right. <laughs> and I rewound it, and she said, I've got a fat ass and a bad attitude. And I said, I, I, I got to do this. I Let's do it a third time. I don't think that's the weirdest thing that was said during this video package. No one ever touches Julia Hart's hat. <laughs> These AW wrestlers are very protective of their hats, Vinny. I'm not Remember, sure if you're aware of that or not. It's a very hat-intensive promotion. I mean, think I would take that shot of me with the uh, pencil mustache and my Vince McMahon hair. Yeah. I think I just need to put that right in the middle of a shirt. Sorry. We haven't put out a shirt in a while. Pair any wrestler with the Easter Bunny and name the team Tank Rabbit. <laughs> the Easter Bunny, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and Randy Savage, the Hair Club for Macho Men. <laughs> the Easter Bunny and Val Venus. Oh, no. A whole lot of fluff. I could have gone much worse. Any thoughts, Granny? Which one do you like? <laughs> I don't like any of them. Wow. I, did, I didn't wow. get any of them. <laughs> Undertaker came out with the bongs and the music and all the dark stuff. Paul, Sounds like a shop it, I used to visit. Paul Bear with, <laughs> with the urn. Are you done? I am. I, I, I'm just quietly sitting here. I was watching something else with Triple H. His uh, whole family is uh, has heart problems, and they he do had and leg problems. Really? I saw this, Brian. I'm sitting. Right I I believe you. Tape. I was not questioning you. Okay. Golly. And then they had another interview with Vince, and since he's got that mustache, he is the ugliest thing I've ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but start to stand and look at him. Anyone else want to insult Granny? Read the names, and we'll try to determine what each of them does not have. Ric Flair, Matt Hardy, Drew McIntyre, Brian Danielson, The Miz, Dahl Ziggler, Triple H, Kane, and John Cena. A vagina. Hmm. Very <laughs> Why is my name on your shirt? I don't know. Is it? Proper mischief. What it says, huh? What do you see, Craig? Proper. Oh, oh, not not proper. Proper. <laughs> Christ. God. Uh, okay. I think it was listening. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm Duke the Dumpster Drozzy, and I don't take anybody's trash. And then he looks down to the garbage can. And he goes, "Actually, I take everybody's trash." I laughed. We watched AEW Wednesday Night Raw. No, that's not a mistake. But there are a lot of things here you see in World Wrestling Entertainment way more than you see in All Elite Wrestling. Darby hits Last Supper and he wins. Swerve having a lousy week here in good matches against skinny guys from Seattle. But uh, that was a lot of fun. It's okay for people to do jobs. Like, especially in AEW where everybody, for the most part, does jobs. So, yeah, Swerve had to do a job here, but he got some heat back at the end of the show when he beat up Keith Lee. Then we had the World Wrestling Entertainment staple, the never-ending promo that just goes on forever. The highlight of this entire segment, I believe, was the sign reading, Shut up, MJF, you dingus. And they start arguing about morals and who's going to go into heaven or not. And I'm like, okay, wrap it up. Take it home. They did not. In fact, only at that moment did they bring out Sting. Well, I thought the first 35 minutes of this show was awesome. And I think the segment they did with MJF last week, I thought went too long. I didn't think this one went too long at all. Hobbs arrives in his new car, as promised by QT Marshall. Warlow then beat up the car. So this continues, a classic Raw feel. We have a crazy brawl of a match, a never-ending promo segment, and now vehicular destruction. He should have been driving this car around for weeks, and he should have been picking up women and, you know, going through the drive through it in and out and just living life in this car. And then when the car gets destroyed, then it's like, oh, man, that was his car. As it was, it was like, hey, he's got a car. Now we're going to destroy it. Out comes Brother Nero to clean house. Crowd loved him. He looked great. I just hope he's taking care of himself. People obviously deserve second chances, but this is like his eighth chance. Kenny Omega does a promo from his couch. Everyone the see the big picture in the background? It's the oil painting of him uh, and Don okay. Callis yes. with Don's shirt off and his rippling abs. Fantastic. Tony wins. 
pin sky with a hip attack in the storm of zero and then they paint a big l on her never seen that before please move on from the story turn the page start a new chapter do something keith jericho versus keith lee keith jericho chris jericho versus Who's keith that? lee this was a match straight out of raw a big giant monster manhandling a smaller man distraction for the heat uh, the monster makes his comeback, beats up two dudes in the ring, no DQ. You want to talk about Raw segments? This was a Raw segment. Guy comes out because there's going to be a four-way. One at a time, all four guys come out yeah. and talk. We must do whatever it takes to win. No goody two-shoes. I need Yeehaw Bitch Fallon Henley. How has it never been a pro wrestler named the Yeehaw Bitch? Well, there is now. There must be. This it's, has to be a permanent It's Fallon thing. Henley. Ye- the, the Yeehaw Bitch Fallon Henley. These baby faces <laughs> jumped these two pretty boys, yeah. whose literally their only crime was that they're pretty, beat the shit out of them with crowbars, and then threw a guy's dead body in the back of a car and zoomed off. Those are the baby faces. Tiffany Stratton versus Sol Ruka. So they both do a lot of flips, and they just did a flip off. I did get irritated because I had these people tell me that it was great, these guys are hot. Listen, they're very talented. They're they're probably better than they should be at this stage, but that's still what this was. It was a competently executed, totally choreographed match. And I hope that they both improve dramatically at professional wrestling and go to the main roster and someday headline WrestleMania. They're plugging into a video game. And uh, Vic reads the spiel, does the whole ad read. Parker just says, I'm in that game. Are you in it, Vic? I <laughs> know you're not. Maybe Vic does commentary. I love Booker just being Booker, man. And then Lyra comes out. You can cut through the women's division with your wicked tongue. I swear to God, I screamed out loud at that line. In pain. Pain! I think they just did one giant 20-minute finishing sequence. Giant move, giant move, giant move, giant move. Sometimes a big kick out. Sometimes the pin is broken up. And then giant move, giant move, giant move, giant move. But overall, I mean, I thought it was a uh, it was a solid show. Both these shows were kind of just kind of mid- Wow.